What's up guys? We are here with Mitch. This is super cool. We have finally made it to Tokyo after being in China. So yeah, it's been good. Pretty pretty hectic. Um, we've only got two more stops. Um, so it's Tokyo and Singapore before we all head home and get ready for World Champs. We're gonna ask Mitch a couple questions so you guys can get to know him a little bit better. Right? Sounds good. Perfect. So first question, when you're not training or competing, what do you do for fun? It's uh, a good question. Um, Living in Australia, we have nice beaches and um, pretty good weather most of the time. So for me, it's usually being outdoors and being by the beach or just spending time with family. You know, I try to get away from swimming as much as possible yeah, and nice. um, you know, spend time with family and, and friends and just hang out, be normal. That's cool. It's a good balance to have. Um, what's your so? Underwater is huge, especially racing short course meters. Yep. And I've noticed my like racing you 100 backstroke is a tough one because your underwaters is powerful. So. What's your like number one tip when it comes to having good underwaters? Yeah, I think uh, as you said, backstroke, um, you know, underwaters is such a, a big part of it. Um, but for me, it's just about staying consistent in training and, and holding those underwaters for you know 10 or 15 meters. Um, and I think the more frequently you can do it, the better you yeah. become. So. so, so it's like the compound effect. It's just the more you, yeah, that that's yeah, absolutely. And it's hard. Like when I started out, you know, I was in a threshold set, um, you know, coming from five meters and then I try to push that to six and seven and eight, um, you know, and, and just build onto it. So I think it's something you have to be consistent at and yeah, slowly over time it builds. So, yeah, yeah, that's like, you guys can't have underwaters overnight. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> it's hard. Um, I wish. <laughs> yeah, that would be really nice. Take a pill and get underwater. <laughs> uh, what do you like about the, so, there's a, a common thing that um, a lot of people are kind of curious about. You swam I am medley yep. quite a bit when you were yep. younger, yep. and now obviously backstroke is like your claim. And so, what do you like more about the I am? What, like, what's what kind of things do you like about? The yeah. Weather? Um, yeah. So I was a medley swimmer to begin with. Um, I made my first Olympic team as a medley swimmer. Oh, yeah, I didn't know that. That's um, oh, I, I trialed for medley. Sorry, wow. and uh, um, I missed the final medley. I came third. So I then switched to a backstroke and, and made the team. So um, it was nice to get back in touch with the medley. Um, you know, I trained it as a as a teenager, and uh, it's just nice to get back and sort of feel young again and fresh. And uh, it's exciting. It's something different. I think when I race backstroke, I sometimes overthink my swims and get sort of stuck in my head a bit. Um, whereas when I swim medley, I just swim much more freer and right, just let exactly. it unfold. Yeah, that's and, cool. Less um, pressure. Less almost. pressure, yeah. yeah. And I've sort of enjoyed that. Yeah. Um, so I've done a little bit more medley training just to sort of clear my mind a little right. bit. And, uh, yeah, I'll probably swim at maybe Worlds next year. Cool. That's That's great. Great. Just the two, not the yeah, Just the two, no four. Yeah. yeah. Okay. You're crazy if you swim the four. Yeah. Um, so, World Cups, we've only got two more stops. What do you enjoy most about racing in a series like this? Yeah, it's awesome. Um, you know, you can practice racing so frequently. You know, you might make a mistake in one event and then a couple of days later you're racing it again and having a tweak a turn or a breakdown or... Um, and I think it sort of challenges yourself um, a lot physically and mentally. You know, the conditions aren't perfect. We travel, you know, a lot of flights, a lot of traveling, a lot new hotel, new bed. Um, <laughs> food changes. Yeah, food changes. Yeah, that's been a big struggle. But uh, I think you learn to swim well off not the perfect conditions. Right. And so when you sort of are put in situations at Olympics or a world where something's not perfect, you learn how to deal with it and, and you know you can handle it. So I like that challenge and also the social element. You know, you become so close with the World Cup family, you know, travel together, spend so long together. It's, uh, it's a great thing as far as we're yeah. Yeah. We have a lot of fun while racing. <laughs> it's not all serious. <laughs> yeah. What have you learned by being such a public figure, especially when it comes to obviously living a personal life versus yeah. professional life? Yeah, that's the biggest challenge for me. I'm not uh, one to be in front of the camera too often. Um, you know, I don't swim for fame or money or anything like that. I swim because um, I love it and I know if I can inspire some young kid out there to sort of chase their dreams or you know, do something they love, that's sort of what gets me most excited. So yeah, it's tough when um, you are a public figure and people sort of pay such close attention to what you do sort of in and out of the pool. Um, but I think it's really rewarding. Um, you know, you get little messages from young kids or parents saying, um, you know, my kid looks up to you and is super inspired by what you did or something like that. And 
you know, that 20 seconds that they took to write that message, you know, makes you feel so, right. so, yeah, yeah so powerful. I think and, that's, it's awesome to hear that because it shows you, like, the importance of having purpose or, or like, yeah. you know, like a vision or a why, like, why do you do something? Yeah, it's, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, the, all the monetary and the um, possession, it's just, it's so yeah. fleeting. Yeah, and I think, you know, if I can leave the sport um, knowing that I've, you know, replaced it by a younger generation. Some young kids sort of got into the sport because of me, or maybe two. You know, right, the that's a legacy. Better off than, that's a really cool legacy. Yeah, that's powerful. Um, last question before rapid fire: um, What do you want to be remembered for? Yeah, that's a good question. Um, uh, I feel like we've touched on it a little, yeah, little we, bit. Yeah, we spoke yeah. about it a little bit um, in legacy, and then I think that's one aspect. Um, I also want to. Uh, I used to want to change backstroke and sort of um, be respected for how I um, improved backstroke, you know, the world standings. Right. Um, I think in 2015, 2016, you know, I was able to do that and I certainly am looking forward to the next couple of years of certainly getting back to that sort of number one, number two spot in the world and number one, no number two. <laughs> seeing where we can take that for sure. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Super. Okay, now for some rapid fire. Uh, ice bath or foam roller? Uh, no ice for me, foam roller. <laughs> Coffee or tea? Uh, I like tea. After I race, I drink tea to sort of calm me down. Uh, coffee sends me pretty crazy. Yeah. Okay, so I had a stipulation here. If it was coffee, if you answered coffee, I had to ask, where does the flat white originate? It's a political question. No idea. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now there's this battle between Australia. It's, it's, no, I don't it's know. Michaela knows, but it's a battle between Australia and New yeah, Zealand. Yeah, there's like two people it's either New Zealand or Australia. Yeah, so, so the New Zealand. Yeah, right. Yeah. That's in New Zealand. I would have said Australia. Yeah. <laughs> okay. It's from Australia. Yeah. Um, book or movie? Uh, movie. Yeah. Uh, milk or juice? Milk. McDonald's or Burger King? McDonald's. Okay. <laughs> Vanilla or chocolate? Vanilla. Sweet or salty? Sweet. Rugby or AFL? <laughs> uh, I'm not a big football fan in Australia. There's so many. Uh, I like AFL and I, my dad watches rugby, so yeah, I'm torn. Yeah, but so if you could choose, if you could choose between any Australian sport apart yeah. from swimming, what would you watch? Uh, I like uh, Formula One and car racing. Okay, yeah, yeah, so we have V8s, which is similar to NASCAR. Yeah. Um, less sort of circle driving, more sort of racetrack, <laughs> yeah. but uh, it uh, it's very similar. Bigger okay. cars, V8 engines. Huh. Uh, it's really cool. Yeah. Very cool. This is awesome. Thanks yeah. for doing this, you guys. Mitch Larkin. Thank you. Um, events you're doing 100 back, 50 back, yep. 2 back, yep. 2 am. 2 am. Okay. Maybe 100 medley as well. Perfect. Yeah. It'll be a fun time here in Tokyo. Thank you. Thanks, Perfect. guys. Cheers.